Sun Castle. It is a lovely sunny day. <laughs> Pepper and George have come to the seaside. <laughs> I'm going to make a sand castle. <laughs> I want to make a sand castle too. And me. Okay, George and me will show you how. <laughs> Put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over. Tap it with your spade. Good. Now, lift up the bucket. Ta-da! 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 Pepper, George, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have made four sandcastles. Yay! Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Pedro. Do you like our sandcastles? Yes, but it would be better if you had walls joining them together, like this. <laughs> Good idea, Pedro. Yes, lovely walls. <laughs> the walls have joined the castle together. Now it's one big sandcastle. Wendy Wolf is at the seaside too, with her daddy. That's a good castle. Thank you, Wendy. I like the walls. Nothing like good, strong walls. What are they made of? Straw? Sticks? Bricks? Sand. Excellent. Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sand castle in the world? Yes! yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Ah! Wendy Wolf is using pebbles to make the castle's bobbly bits. And it needs flags. <laughs> Pepper and George are collecting little sticks and some seaweed to make flags. <laughs> it needs windows. <laughs> Pedro is using shells to make windows. There. What a fantastic sandcastle. Let's add a moat. What's a moat? You'll see. We dig the moat all around outside the wall. Good idea. Everyone help dig. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to fill the moat with water. Let's get water from the sea. <laughs> 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 the moat is full of water. The castle's finished! Hooray! I wish it could be my home and I could live in it. <laughs> You're too big to live in a sand castle, Pepper. Here is Mr. Crab. He's come to take a look at the castle. Hello, Mr. Crab. Do you have a home to live in? Oh, he looks sad. <coughs> I don't think Mr. Crab has a home. He can live in our castle. Yes, in you go, Mr. Crab. <coughs> oh, but how does he get across the moat? He needs a bridge. <coughs> <laughs> George has found a piece of driftwood. <coughs> George has made a bridge. Mr. Crab likes the bridge. But he can't get inside the castle. We just need to make a little door. Mr. Crab is the king of the castle. <laughs> it's the best sand castle in all the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> It is fruit day at the supermarket. Look, it's Mr Potato. Mrs Carrot. Sweet cranberry and little sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> apple, apple, orange, banana, banana pear and pineapple too. Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to fruit day, where the magic of fruit never ends. 
Wow, so much fruit. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello. We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. <laughs> Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? <laughs> is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry. George loves strawberries. Smoothies. Get your fruit smoothies here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. <laughs> Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK. Raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. Mm, lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, or oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Hmm. There's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot? Yes, a carrot. Hooray! Dinosaur juice for everyone. <laughs> Are you all enjoying fruit day? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. <laughs> Everyone loves fruit <laughs> and carrots. George's racing car. It is a lovely sunny day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper, George, Daddy and Grandpa are inside watching racing cars on television. Come on, car number two. It's neck and neck coming up to the finish. What a lot of noise. This is so exciting. Car number two is a must. Ah! That's better. The race was almost finished. Switch it back on. Wow, that was an exciting end to a race. I'm so glad I didn't miss the finish. See, it's finished. It's such a lovely day. You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. <coughs> so, what are we going to play? George wants to play racing cars. I know. 
Let's build George a racing car. <laughs> Can you really make a racing car, Daddy? No, but Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, OK, I'll make a racing car for George. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's shed, where he makes things. What have we got here? Ah, an old pram. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Pepper. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seats. What's your favourite number, George? George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Away! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. George is only little. Don't worry, Pepper. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah! Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. <laughs> wow! I'll race you. And me. And me. <laughs> I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Pepper? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Pepper. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? Go! And they're off. Come on, George! That's the end of lap one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am! What do we do? Put the wheel back on! OK, okay chief, chief mechanic! mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! <laughs> Come, Come on, George! George. <laughs> Is the winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too! Yes, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> Today is Freddy Fox's birthday, and all the children are going on a big adventure. Where are we going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. We're here! <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh! Dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. Phew. Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur, a real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, yes, please! These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. 
These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! That is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg! Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend! Watch this! <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grampy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> Mr Fox's shop. Mummy and Daddy Pig are wrapping up a present. Ooh, a present. Is it for me or George? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's not for you or George. Oh, is it a toy? No, it's a glass vase. That's a bit of a boring present. Oh, ho, ho. It's a present for grown-ups. We've bought this for Granny and Grandpa Pig. It's their wedding anniversary. Can me and George buy them a present too? That's very sweet of you, Pepper. But presents can cost a lot of money. We've got money in our piggy bank. Pepper and George have one penny and two buttons to spend. OK, let's go shopping. This is Mr Fox's shop. Hello there. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. They're both very old and need a present. My shop has everything. Oh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. A big teddy. I love it. This can be the present. Pepper, the present is not for you. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes. Oh, look. Funny teeth. They're wind-up joke teeth. Very popular. <laughs> can they be the present for Granny and Grandpa? I think Granny and Grandpa have all the teeth they need, Pepper. Do your Granny and Grandpa like gardening and digging? Yes. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Buy one, get one free. They've already got spades and buckets and forks and everything. Oh, dear. I know. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more. 
I have everything a sailor could ever wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Uh, everything except pirate's treasure. Oh. Do Granny and Grandpa like antiques? What does antique mean? Antique means old and rare. Usually, yes. But my antiques are brand new. That chair comes in a set of 12. Nice, isn't it? Is it made of oak? Yes, it's made of plastic oak. Is it comfortable? You mustn't sit on it. Antique chairs are not for sitting on. So, what do you do with them? You look at them. That's not much fun, even for a grown-up. Buying a present for Granny and Grandpa is hard work. I don't understand. My shop sells everything. There must be something you like. There is. I like this teddy. And I think Granny and Grandpa would like it too. Oh, oh, let's buy the teddy then. A very good choice. Who's going to pay? One penny and two buttons. Here's your change. One button. Thank you, Mr Fox. Pepper and her family have come to give Granny and Grandpa Pig their presents. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Happy anniversary. Oh, another glass vase. It's a grown-up present. That's why it's a bit boring. It's lovely. We'll put it with our other glass vases. George and me bought you a present too. I hope you like it. A teddy bear for Grandpa and me. Thank you, Pepper and George. He's very good at cuddling. Does he have a name? Um, he's called Eddie the Teddy. And what does Eddie like to eat? Chocolate and broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best present we've ever had. Oh, but if Eddie is going to live here, he'll need children to play with. We can play with him, Granny. <laughs> and every time you visit us, he'll be here for you to play with. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Blackberry bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, Hi, Hi Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples and buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. <laughs> Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa! But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I've brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. 
and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black... Bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going... Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers. It is a school day for Pepper and her friends. Aho, children. Today we will be learning all about numbers. Does anybody know what numbers are for? Are numbers for counting? Yes, Pepper. Who would like to do some counting now? Me! 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 me. OK, Pedro. Uh, one, two, three, four. Pedro has counted to four. Well done, Pedro. Can anyone count higher than four? Me! 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 Rebecca. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Rebecca has counted to seven. Excellent, Rebecca. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Candy? My mum can count to ten. Wow. wow! Yes, after seven, there is eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. It is playtime. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit, Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep and Pepper all like to skip. I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie to skip with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like ping. I like pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. Squeak! I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! 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 Nay! <laughs> Petro, do you want to do some skipping? No, thanks, Peppa. I'm hula hooping. Ribble wobble, ribble wobble, wiggle waggle wee. Hula hoop, hula hoop. One, two, three. Ooh. How many can you do without stopping? A million and three. Wow, that's a lot. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight. I'm a bit tired. I'll do the rest later. <laughs> can you do hula hoops, Emily? I can do them my own special way. Emily Elephant is hula hooping with her trunk. Hooray! I think that was about 100. <laughs> George wants to play leapfrog. 
George likes playing leapfrog. <laughs> leapfrog, everybody! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! <laughs> Playtime is over. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, we can all count to ten now. Very good. But we need to be playing to do it. Of course. Richard, Edmund, bring the extra long skipping rope. <laughs> Hello. I've come to collect Pepper and George. Daddy, you're too early. Oh. Not to worry. You can join in our game. Oh, OK. Is everybody ready? Ready. <laughs> Counting to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> oh, you look tired, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm fine. I could skip to a hundred. Good idea, Daddy Pig. To a hundred. Uh. Maybe to twenty. Okay, two twenty. Mm -hmm.